Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Collin. Will former University of Arizona standout DeAndre Ayton be with the Phoenix Suns next season? That is the question. In fact, even before the hiring of new head coach Frank Vogel, there was lots of speculation that Ayton would be traded. And with coach Frank Vogel undoubtedly set to make decisions to tweak up the team and the starting lineup as the Suns continue their quest to get back to the NBA Finals, it is anybody's guess whether or not DeAndre Ayton will be part of that mix. One thing's for sure. DeAndre Ayton has had the power to veto a trade through his contract thanks to the Suns matching Indiana's offer last season, a $133 million four-year contract. But that veto power was lost once the season ended and Phoenix can now make a trade. Even analysts like Michael Wilbon are saying Ayton should be gone. Check it out. But DeAndre Ayton, are they going to have him? I would doubt it. I, if I was running the team, I wouldn't have DeAndre Ayton any longer with the Suns. But nevertheless, Frank Vogel is there, and Frank Vogel's calling card as an NBA head coach is defense. L, he had the best defense in the league a couple of times, and certainly top five defenses in Indiana when he was a head coach there. Did it again with the Lakers, and Frank brings that with him, and we know that defense traveled. And if you are talking about defense, why wouldn't you want DeAndre Ayton? He is still a force inside, and a coach like Frank Vogel could bring out the best in him, that's for sure. Just like he did when Vogel coached Aaron Gordon, seen over my shoulder when both were with the Orlando Magic. Now Gordon and Zeke Naji are representing the U of A as they play in the NBA Championship Series against the Nuggets, or rather with the Nuggets, against the Heat. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of my friends from Orlando, uh, they're going to drive down and come to the game. So that's nice. Um, yeah, it, it's Florida almost feels like a second home to me. Um, so it's nice to be back. Nice to be back in South Florida. Can't beat it. We will see how kind the Miami fans are to Aaron Gordon tonight. Meanwhile, a congrats is in order to South Point grad Elise Munoz, seen batting right behind me. At Pima College, she was just named a second team All-American in softball. Munoz led the Aztecs with a 454 batting average. Another South Point grad, Mason White, is also celebrating. This is White at South Point, and at the U of A, he was just named a collegiate baseball freshman All-American. This after hitting 313 with 10 home runs. Mason White, a third-generation Wildcat, joins Daniel Susak, Jacob Berry, and Nick Quintana as Arizona baseball players to achieve the same honor. Bear down. I'm Paul Sicala for News for Tucson Sports. And now to another proud Arizona Wildcat and U of A alum, Matt Brode. All right, Paul, 93 tomorrow. We are going to continue to, I don't want to say bake in the Look cool hub, bask in the, the cool. Board. Yes. Woo. 93 Friday, turning breezy on Saturday. Few clouds. That will knock our temperatures down a few more degrees to the low 90s on Sunday, low 90s Monday, Tuesday, and then mid to upper 90s Wednesday, still putting us. A full four degrees below average. Keep in mind, even though that 97 seems hot by this point in time, next week, one week from today, our average high temperature in the city of Tucson is 101 degrees. So that 97, four below average. How about wow, that? Wow, that's amazing. I'm looking at the low temperatures, though. Those are nice, too. Yeah, it's good, especially it's cold at night, like you said. You're on the, on the roof. It's, it's <laughs> I nice. love it. It's like Bring a blanket. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Inside Edition is next. We'll see you at 10.